David's Peter, and also adding more examples to what my colleagues have already um, done. This is basically an example I picked from BC 2012, question number 334. And it says that in the diagram above, line PQ is parallel to RS. So the work form power can be presented as this dashed line. It's parallel to RS, and UV is a line drawn through PQ and RS, which we term as well the transversal line. They asked us to use the diagram above to find angle A. This is angle A. And angle B and C are also called as what? So let me start from angle B and C. This is where we have angle B. This is where we have angle C. So we learned that a property of power lines or angles in the power line is that of what? Corresponding angles. So you can see that these angles C and B are on the same relatively position. So we see that angle C is equal to angle B. So this is I I. C is equal to B corresponding angles. So that is that for the B. Now let's look at A. How do we find the size of angle A? You've learned that C corresponds to that of what? B and they are equal. We can also see that C is vertically opposite to angle 35 degrees. So you write C is equal to 35 degrees, which implies that they are vertically opposite angles. So now that we know C, we say that C is equal to B. So we can write that B is also equal to 35 degrees. And that B is equal to C, so we can put here corresponding angles. Now that we know B, we've learned that angles on a straight line. So the straight line, which we are termed as a transversal line, UV, bears the angle B and A. So we say that B plus A should be equal to 180 degrees. So we know B as 35 degrees plus A should be equal to 180 degrees. So this implies that A is equal to 180 degrees minus 35 degrees. Would be just 145. So you conclude if it is section B conclude that the angle A is 145 degrees. If it's section A, just look through the options and then select the correct one. BC 2014, use, okay, to continue from where we ended, this is also a question I picked from 2014 BC. View the diagram below to find the size of angle E and D. So from the diagram, this is the size labeled E. That is D. Okay. So how do we find that of E and that of D? Let me take you back to this illustration. One property we learned in angles of 
a triangle was that if I have a triangle like this, I can have an exterior line. That is the extension of the triangle. So this angle will be termed as this C. I have here A, this is D. Let's say here is D. So we learned that the sum of two offset interior angles will give us an exterior angle. So that means that B plus A is equal to C. So we are going to use this idea to find the size of angle what E. You can think of other ways. Right. So if I go by this idea, I can say that I can say that 50 degrees plus 38 degrees should be equal to this size. Let's say O. This size. 50 degrees plus 38 degrees should give us angle A O C. So this is another way that we can represent angles. This sign. Okay. So that means that 88 degrees is equal to angle A O C. Now that I have angle A O C, I should be able to find that of what the angle E. And you will see that they all lie on the line, let's say A, F. This is the line A, F. So, angle A, O, C, plus angle F, O, C. Angle F O C should be equal to 180 degrees. So we know A O C as 88 degrees plus angle F O C, which is equal to. So we make this one the subject. Angle F O C should be equal to 180 degrees minus. 88 degrees. Angle FOC should be equal to 92 degrees. And that represents the size of the angle E. Okay. Now we also have to find D. Okay. So how do we get D? You can see that angle D F A right angle D F A gives us 132 degrees okay and then we can also find the side of the angle say A F C which we are representing as why? So angle A F C is equal to Y. So in general, angle D F A plus angle A F C should be equal to 180 degrees. D F A 132 degrees plus A F C. Why? So, how do you find Y? Y is equal to 180 degrees minus 132 degrees. So, since we are all limits, we have 180, 132. This gives us 8. This is 4. So we have to write that, therefore, angle AFC is equal to 48 degrees. That is going to help us find that of what angle D. 
So we've also learned that angles in a triangle sum up to 180. So it means that angle A FC plus angle FOC FOC plus angle OCF should also be equal to 180 degrees. So you can put in like the sum of angles. So what is AFC? We find um, AFC to be 48 degrees. So 48 degrees plus FOC, which we had as 92 degrees. Uh, 92 degrees plus the unknown D to be equal to 180 degrees. So this will give us 140. So we have 140 degrees. <laughs> so 140 degrees plus D, 180 degrees. So D is equal to 180 degrees minus. And D is equal to 40 degrees. Therefore, angle.